Hey guys, we are here today to help you lift and tone that booty. Now we do have weights, so if you want to use them, you can. If not, no problem. I've got five pounds here. Alfie is going to be doing the exercises without weights. So if you want to follow the modified version, that's going to be Alfie. Although you're not going to get very good results because he's not going to move that much. Okay, Alfie, are you ready? Give me a paw. Yes, we are ready. Okay, so first exercise, you're going to come down to the ground. I'm going to grab one of those weights. Okay, and all you're going to do is just tuck it underneath, okay, in between your heel. So your hands are going to be directly underneath your shoulders. And all you're going to do is be lifting your leg up and down. Now, the first few times that you do this, you know, you might not feel anything for these first few lifts up and down. But the goal is, is to keep working throughout the whole video because once you complete the video, that's when those changes are going to make. Okay, so if you're just kind of doing a few of these, it's not really going to make too much of a difference. But I tell you, just get through this 10 minutes, okay, and you are going to feel incredible. Your butt is going to start to grow and you're going to lift that booty. Aren't you happy? Give me five. Yes, nothing, nonchalant, I love it. Okay, so keep squeezing up. You wanna make sure that your tummy is tucked in. You're keeping your foot flat, uh, flex, and this foot on the ground is just resting. Okay, so put all your weight into your hands, and then squeeze up, and then down. <sighs> okay, good work, everybody. So we're gonna hold it up at the top, and you're just gonna pulse for me. So, nice and gentle. Five, four, three, two, one. One, so let's come back down and we're gonna swing it up again. So just the same thing, nice and steady, nice and still, no need to go too quick, okay? It's all about growing that lean muscle. And you're not gonna get huge, guys. Not all of a sudden you're just gonna wake up one day and you're gonna have massive biceps and a massive booty. It takes time to create that muscle, okay? And also making sure you're having the right nutrition. So squeezing up and down. And if you want to learn more about nutrition, then Alfie does have a brilliant tip, don't you Alfie? Yes, exactly. Okay, so squeeze it up. We're going to come to the top again, so pulsing. Now it should find a little bit more challenging this time. You should really be feeling it in that left glute, and that's good, okay? This is when those changes start to happen. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So keep pushing up to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Okay, bring it down. Okay, and then we're gonna go straight onto that other leg. So you're just gonna switch it over. Okay, and up we go. Are you ready, Alfie? So he's doing the modified version, which is nothing. And like I said, that is not gonna get you any results. So if you do wanna get results, it's really important, guys, that you actually do the exercises. So squeeze all the way up to the top. Make sure you keep that tummy pulled into the spine. And the core really is everything. So when you have a strong core, the rest of the exercises and the moves that you're gonna do are gonna become easier. Okay, we've got a great blog out about the strengthening and the importance of core at RA Healthy. Okay, so let's keep it going. So squeezing up, using those glute muscles. Okay, keep that foot nice and flexed. Squeezing that weight in between your knees. Okay, so lifting it up. We're just going to do pulses at the top. Just nice and easy, guys. You want to think that your foot is flat. Are you kind of like sticking something against the ceiling? Make sure that you don't tilt your body around. You're just going to keep it nice and square. Okay, three, two, one. Let's come down and then up. I know you guys are kind of like cursing at me right now or, you know, telling me that you're feeling the burn and that's awesome. Make sure you do hashtag I feel the burn Rebecca on your social media so we guys can see you. Alfie loves to watch you guys, don't you Alf? Exactly. Okay, so keep it going all the way up to the ceiling. That's it. And then squeeze. We're going to do those pulses up to the top. Start to really feel your glutes working. That's it, squeezing in and out. You see, Alfie thought that was food. It actually wasn't. All it was was a piece of bark, but Alfie is such, don't eat everything that you see. I told you, he eats everything. Remember that day he ate sand and then you cost me $500 at the vet? That was no fun. Okay, so squeezing up, three, two, one, come down. Okay, just take that weight out. You just completely embarrassed yourself on camera, Alfie, that you really do eat anything. So, squeezing down, I just want you to stretch out that back. Stretch out those glutes, sitting back on your heels, ready to do our next set. So coming back up, we're gonna put that weight into the other side. Okay, so back into that right leg. And we're gonna come into that similar position, but we're gonna come out to the side. So what we call fire hydrants. That's it, so squeezing in and out. You wanna lift your leg up to about 90 degrees and then bring it back in. And you should be really feeling your glutes in the left side. Okay, so just put your hand on your butt and you can feel, ah oh, yes, it's starting to work. That's great guys. This is when the change starts to happen. So squeeze all the way in 
and down. Now if you don't want to use weights, you don't have to, you can drop them. Just know that by using weights, you're going to get increased muscle mass, okay? It's going to help you build that butt and lift and tone even quicker. So holding it out to the side, we're just going to pulse, just like we did before. Guys, these are simple moves that's going to get easier over time. So five, four, three, two, one, come down. So we go up again. Oh, you can start to really feel it in that glute. Okay, my butt feels like it's on fire. We love the burn. So let's just keep going all the way to the end of this workout. Because if you've done one side, guys, guess what? You do have to do the other side, or you're going to end up lopsided. Okay, so coming up, we're going to pulse again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down. Ooh, and then straight over to the other side. I don't want to have any rest. So again, fire hydrants out to the side. Make sure that your hands are nice and wide so you have a big surface area. Okay, not putting too much pressure on those joints. And then squeezing in and out. We're feeling good, hey Alfie? This is, this is it. This is the amount of exercise that you get to do. There's a reason that they're called lap dogs. Okay, so breathe in and out. Keep squeezing, try and lift that leg a little bit higher. I don't want you to just lift it out to the side. I want you to bring it up as if you're making an L shape. Come on guys, lift it that little bit higher. You can do it. You've just got to push yourself there. So let's do those pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down and up we go. Come on guys, it's the last set. And then you're going to have a little bit of a relax for your glutes. But I want you to keep pushing. This is when that change happens. I know it's burning. I know you can feel it. And I want you to get those results. You've just got to keep going. You've got to trust me on this one. Let's go up to the top for a last set. 10, 9, 8, higher. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down, take that weight out, and then sit back down into those hills. Woo! How are you feeling, Alfie? Good. He's feeling alive. At least he's still alive. That's great. Give me a pull. Nope, nothing. Okay, great. Right, now what you want to do is coming onto your side. So, excuse me, Alfie. You're going to put your weight, okay, onto, onto here. So what it's going to do is just going to add a little bit of resistance and your legs are going to go straight out. So all I want you to do is lift up here, okay, and down. So we're just going to warm up that glute muscle. Now, you guys have heard me say this before. Just relax that foot because when your foot is like really pointed, I don't think that you're, you know, you're really working on that glute muscle. You want to think about your glute that's lifting you up and down. So just squeeze in. Okay, let's take it into tiny little circles. Okay, so make sure you've got that balance. We're going to go circles backwards. <sighs> Holding onto that weight. Really feel that glute working. Come on, guys. <sighs> you can do this. Just keep breathing and just keep your legs moving. Don't worry about what it feels like. If you've got that burn in there, that's awesome. You just want to keep moving your legs. Okay, now let's go forwards. So just tiny little circles. If you need to put that weight down on the floor, you can. What I suggest is that you just hold it there for as long as you can, because this is what's gonna make your body change. Okay, so keep going, little circles. Let's go back to up and down, up and down. Woo, really feel that glute working. You can feel the difference now from doing those circles from the first time you went up and down. We add the circles in and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness, the glute feels like it's on fire. So squeezing in and out. Had to lift up that chest too. Woo, okay, now holding it up the top, I just want you to do a static hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze those glutes, come on guys, four, three, two, one. Okay, release, and then let's go back over onto that other side. Okay, so the same thing. Alfie is ready, sit down. Thank you. Okay, cool, so legs here, okay, weight just onto your, onto your thigh, okay, so it's nice and comfortable. We're almost finished with this workout, guys, but I need you to keep moving. I don't want to have any rest. So let's keep that leg going up and down. Okay, you can kick your chihuahua at the end if you need to. I'm just kidding, I don't ever kick my chihuahua. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Okay, squeeze up and down. Right, now you can feel a little bit here maybe, but I tell you what, we're gonna add these circles in, and then when we do that lift up at the end, it's gonna change, okay? We're gonna start to really feel the difference. So squeeze those legs round, relax that foot, I want you to be using your glute muscle, not your legs, because remember, we want to lift and tone the booty today. Okay, so let's go backwards, those circles round. Squeeze in and out, you guys have got this. Just keep pushing it. 
and breathe in. Lift up in that chest a little bit for me. Give me a little smile because we are nearly, nearly done. This is the last set of exercises. And then we're gonna go up and down. So just squeeze in those glutes. Oh, now I can feel the difference. Can you feel the difference? This is why it's so important, guys, that when you do the exercise, you go all the way through the video because these are the times that your body starts to change. So squeeze those glutes up and down. Let's just do me 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Make sure that you do a good stretch on those glutes. Your weights don't roll away from you. Whew. And you give yourself the right post recovery afterwards that you guys can find out on the nutrition program. Me and Alfie absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and the newsletter as well because we've got so many fun live workouts that you guys can get involved with. So me and Alfie are off, but we will see you again tomorrow.